Welcome to Sino-US Observation. Here, you can learn about the hot events between China and the US. If you are interested, don't forget to follow our channel. We mentioned in the last video that US President Biden signed the CHIP and Science Act of 2022 on August 9. The bill will use financial subsidies and tax credits to support US chip manufacturers in technology research and development, including appropriating $52.7 billion to encourage semiconductor companies to develop chips in the United States and providing a 25% investment tax credit, while providing more than $200 billion US dollars US dollars in research funding. It is worth noting that the bill clearly states on the eligibility of subsidy funding recipients, prohibiting companies receiving funding from the bill from expanding certain key chip manufacturing in China and other countries of special concern for a period of up to 10 years. That means the bill would force chipmakers to choose between China and the United States. So does the chip bill push TSMC into the eye of the storm? At present, among the world's three major chip manufacturers, TSMC and Samsung have established chip manufacturing plants in mainland China, but only TSMC's factory in Nanjing produces 28 nanometer and 16 nanometer advanced process chips. TSMC also spent 2.8 billion US dollars to expand the Nanjing factory. 28 nanometers capacity. At the same time, TSMC has a wholly owned subsidiary in the United States and is investing in a new 5 nanometer advanced process chip manufacturing plant in the United States. TSMC is a global leader in chip manufacturing. On the one hand, TSMC occupies more than 50% of the global chip foundry market, on the other hand, TSMC is the first to mass produce 7 nanometer, 5 nanometer and other advanced process chips, and is expected to mass produce 2 nanometer process chips in 2025. So from this perspective, the Chip and Science Act of 2022 may push TSMC to the center of the eye of the storm, and where TSMC goes will have a significant impact on itself and the global chip industry. The chip bill will affect TSMC's expansion plans in mainland China. The United States has always been TSMC's largest market. In 2021, TSMC's revenue from the US market will reach 225.4 billion yuan, accounting for 64% of total revenue, an increase of 3 percentage points from 2020. Due to pressure from the United States, TSMC cannot provide chip foundry for Huawei, and the scale and proportion of TSMC's revenue from mainland China continues to decline. In 2021, TSMC's revenue from mainland China will decrease to 34.7 billion yuan, accounting for about 10%, a decrease of 7.5 percentage points from 2020, and mainland China has dropped to become TSMC's third largest market. If it accepts U.S. subsidies and tax incentives, affected by the China Exclusion Clause, TSMC may suspend or cancel its plan to expand its advanced manufacturing capacity in mainland China, and its plan to build new capacity may also be more cautious. But if TSMC is completely dependent on the United States, it is not the best choice. The cost of building new chip production lines in the United States is high, and manufacturing talent is scarce. Zhang Zhongmo, the founder of TSMC, also believes that the United States lacks manufacturing talents, and the cost of manufacturing chips is 50% higher than that of Taiwan. TSMC's earlier decision to build a new factory in the US was also driven by the US government, and the US promised subsidies were far from enough to establish a long-term cost advantage in chip manufacturing. If TSMC develops in the United States, it will also face the risk of technology leakage. The United States still does not have the ability to manufacture 7 nanometer chips, and the process technology is two generations behind TSMC. Currently, TSMC is building a 5 nanometer chip production line in the United States and plans to achieve mass production by 2024. Earlier, the US government asked key chip companies, including TSMC, to submit confidential data. In the future, who can guarantee that the U.S. government will not require chip companies to disclose more technical data? Therefore, TSMC may not bring much benefit to itself by completely following the United States. Although in terms of revenue share, TSMC's market revenue share in mainland China continues to decline, especially in the future, the expansion of production capacity and new production capacity of advanced process chips in mainland China will be limited. The importance of the Chinese mainland market to TSMC seems to be in decline. However, if the market of tens of billions in mainland China is completely lost, 
it will be difficult for TSMC to find new market space of the same scale in a short period of time. As we all know, advanced process chip manufacturing is a capital-intensive industry. The construction of production lines requires tens of billions of dollars and requires a global market to maintain. The decline in revenue scale and profit will directly affect the investment in advanced process technology research and development, and affect the expansion and new construction of new production capacity, which may lead to a slowdown in TSMC's innovation speed. Moreover, if the Chip and Science Act of 2022 forces more companies to choose one of the two, then competition in markets other than mainland China will be more intense, and there may be serious overcapacity problems. TSMC in the United States and the leading market share in other regions will inevitably be eroded by companies such as Intel and Samsung, and TSMC's current leading position in advanced processes such as 5 nanometers and 2 nanometers will inevitably be impacted. Will TSMC completely abandon U.S. subsidies and tax incentives? This possibility is also small. On the one hand, TSMC has invested 10 billion U.S. dollars to build a 5 nanometer production line in the United States. It is still unknown whether it will generate the expected benefits in the future. It is also a way to recover losses by seeking subsidies and tax incentives. On the other hand, TSMC can still maintain production lines in mainland China but cannot expand production and build new production lines with advanced processes. Therefore, if TSMC chooses to accept U.S. subsidies and tax incentives, it will give up the huge market for advanced manufacturing processes in the future. There is one detail worth noting. The Chip and Science Act of 2022 does not actually define the scope of advanced processes accurately. The focus of the United States is to prevent production lines of advanced processes from landing in mainland China, while production capacity investment in mature processes is not restricted. In addition, the definition and scope of advanced manufacturing process in the United States may be revised as the process technology improves and the external environment changes. This means that global chip foundry giants including TSMC can avoid triggering U.S. regulatory conditions by deploying mature process production lines only in mainland China. However, in terms of competition in mature manufacturing processes, the competitiveness of local companies in mainland China should not be underestimated. These chip foundry giants may not have much competitive advantage. This is also the challenge that TSMC will face. In any case, the United States requires TSMC and others to build new advanced process production lines in the United States, and then introduces a bill to choose one, which may change the global supply chain of the chip industry, and will cause a certain blow to the head chip foundry companies. The most ruthless may be TSMC. What choice TSMC will make is undoubtedly worthy of attention.